When bleeding is severe, it can be dramatic and distressing. If someone's bleeding isn't controlled quickly, they may develop a life-threatening condition called shock and they may become unresponsive. Bleeding from the mouth or nose may affect the breathing. So try to ensure that the airway is kept clear. An obstructed airway can be a cause for a casualty to become unresponsive. If the casualty becomes unresponsive at any point, open the airway and check the breathing and prepare to treat an unresponsive casualty. To treat someone with a severe bleed, put gloves on if you have them, as this will help to protect you both from infection. If the wound is covered by clothing, remove or cut the clothes to uncover the wound. Is there an object in the wound? If there is, don't pull it out because it may be acting as a plug to reduce the bleeding. Instead, leave it in and apply pressure on either side of it to push the edges together. If there is no object in the wound, apply direct pressure on the wound with your fingers and use a sterile dressing or a clean non-fluffy pad to stop the bleeding. If you don't have a dressing, ask the casualty to apply direct pressure themselves to stop the bleeding. Jenny, can you apply some pressure for me please? Brilliant, excellent, well done. Ask a helper to call 999 or 112 for emergency help. Or, if you're on your own, use a mobile on speakerphone so you can keep treating the casualty. Tell the emergency services where the bleeding is coming from and the amount of bleeding. The casualty may develop shock, so help them to lie down on a blanket or rug if there's one to protect them from the cold. Raise and support their legs so they are above the level of their heart. Do not raise the leg if it is injured. Jenny, could I lay you down? Just gonna lift the legs up. Is that okay? Secure the dressing with a bandage that is firm enough to maintain the pressure but doesn't cut off the circulation. I'm just gonna apply this dressing for you, please. Okay. Can I take your hand away? Yeah, I can. Okay. Can you hold up for me? Excellent. Check the circulation by pressing a nail bed or skin beyond the bandage for 5 seconds. Release the pressure. And if the color does not return within 2 seconds, the bandage is too tight. If blood shows through the dressing, don't remove it. Just apply a second bandage on top. If blood shows through both dressings, remove them and apply a fresh bandage ensuring there is direct pressure applied at the point of bleeding. Support the injured part with a sling or bandage, but check circulation every 10 minutes. Keep monitoring the casualty's level of response while waiting for help to arrive. So remember, when treating severe bleeding, wear gloves if available. Remove or cut away any clothing from around the wound. Check for objects in the wound, but don't remove them. Apply pressure on either side of the wound. If there is no object in the wound, use a dressing or pad and apply direct pressure to the wound. Call 999 or 112 for emergency help. Secure the dressing with a bandage. Treat the casualty for shock. Support the injured area. Keep checking their level of response while waiting for help. And that's how we treat someone with a severe bleed. If this video has been helpful to you, help support St. John Ambulance by going to sja.org.uk forward slash donate.